A whitewater rafting excursion kicks off with three lifelong friends aboard. Leading the expedition is the intrepid adventurer Juno. Sarah, a wife and mother, and her closest companion Beth, both hail from Britain. At the end of the rafting adventure awaits Sarah's husband Paul and their daughter Jessica. A peculiar moment passes between Paul and Juno before Paul heads home with Sarah and Jessica. While Sarah and Paul discuss his apparent absent-mindedness, tragedy strikes as Paul accidentally collides with their car with an oncoming truck carrying metal rods, one of which pierces through Paul's skull. Sarah begins experiencing a series of dreams, starting with Jessica wearing a party dress and offering her a birthday cake. Upon waking in the hospital from her injuries, Sarah panics, envisioning the hospital growing dark around her. She is jolted back to reality when Beth comforts her, tearfully revealing Jessica's death. Both women grieve as Juno, standing at a distance, sheds tears and then departs. A year later, Juno organizes a spelunking trip in the Appalachian Mountains to coax Sarah out of her isolation. The three women from the rafting trip gather at a cabin the day before the adventure. Joining them are three additional adventurers. Juno's daredevil friend Holly, a base jumper whom even Juno finds reckless. A pair of European sisters, the cautious older sister Rebecca and the medical student Sam, the least experienced adventurer of the group. Tension lingers between Juno and Beth as Juno left Scotland the day of the accident one year prior. As the group reminisces over drinks, Sarah recites Paul's motto, Love Each Day, as her inspiration for embarking on the adventure. Holly expresses disappointment that the cave they are to explore is merely a tourist trap devoid of real challenges. That night, Sarah is plagued by a nightmare in which a steel rod strikes her face just as it did Paul's. Awakening her five companions the following day, Juno leads them on a rugged journey along a country road. Upon reaching their destination and leaving the cars, Juno intentionally neglects the cave map. As they trek towards the cave entrance, they stumble upon the massive carcass of a bull elk, its throat gruesomely torn open. Despite Juno and Holly's determination, the other women grow apprehensive at seeing the cavern's gaping maw. Nevertheless, they all descend into the cave's first chamber, where daylight swiftly fades into darkness. Juno ignites a series of flares, revealing the vast expanse of the cave system before them. Even Holly, armed with her high-tech night vision digital camera, is amazed by the spectacle. As they prepare to venture deeper, Juno mentions their search for a tunnel leading further into the cave system. She then extends an apology to Sarah for abandoning her the previous year, her emotions stirring as she recalls Paul. Trying to avoid the conversation, Sarah ventures off alone and discovers a small tunnel entrance. One by one, the women enter the tunnel, which narrows midway before opening into another expansive chamber. Sarah, however, gets wedged on a protruding rock and succumbs to claustrophobia. Beth attempts to reassure and assist her, reminding her that the worst has already occurred. Just as Beth frees Sarah, the tunnel collapses behind them, leaving the group distressed as if it were their intended route back. In the wake of the collapse, Juno confesses that not only did she intentionally lead them astray without the cave map, but she brought them to an uncharted cave instead of the one she claimed. Her desire for exploration and the prospect of having the cave named after them fueled her deceit. Angered, Beth confronts Juno about abandoning Sarah in her time of need. Juno retorts that everyone suffered a loss in the accident, urging the group to press forward in search of another exit. The group encounters a vast precipice within the cave, but their ropes are lost in the tunnel collapse. They devise a pulley system using the cave roof to reach a potential exit. Rebecca, enduring pain, navigates along the roof to secure the rope. Upon reaching the opposite side, she discovers a hook left by a previous explorer. Each woman traverses the precipice using the makeshift pulley system, with Juno bringing up the rear. Claiming the necessity of equipment, Juno dismantles the pulley rope as she crosses. However, she loses her grip and begins to fall, prompting Rebecca to intervene and injure her hand in the process. Eventually, Juno ascends the precipice to reunite with the group. As the group of six women progresses, an unnoticed drooling mouth appears prominently in the foreground. Venturing deeper into the caverns, they come across a mural that seems to have been crafted by early Native Americans, depicting a communal scene. 
Beth identifies a depiction of a secondary exit within the mural's intricate designs. Holly takes the lead as they move forward, mistaking the glow of luminous rocks for daylight, and accelerates, ignoring Juno's cautionary advice. Her haste leads to a catastrophic fall into a deep chasm, resulting in a gruesome leg injury with the bone piercing through her flesh. The rest of the group descends into the abyss to provide aid. Sam, through a painful process, realigns Holly's leg and fashions a temporary splint from a pickaxe, enabling her to hobble along with difficulty. During this time, Sarah explores separately and stumbles upon an ancient miner's helmet. Her exploration is abruptly halted when she spots a monstrous humanoid figure devoid of hair, featuring distorted facial features and lethal claws. However, the creature vanishes quickly, leaving Sarah in disbelief when Juno arrives and the group remains skeptical of her account. Confronted between three tunnels in a particularly dark cave section, they utilize Holly's night vision camera to navigate. Amidst the scattered animal remains on the ground, a spine-chilling sound echoes, and the camera captures the creature Sarah described, now visibly close to them. It ascends the cave wall with astonishing agility and launches an attack on Holly. Panic ensues. Sam and Rebecca dash down one tunnel while Sarah chooses another, only to fall and lose consciousness in a new pit. The creature mortally wounds Holly, leading to a violent clash between Juno and the beast over her body. Juno defends herself valiantly, injuring one creature and slaying another with her pickaxe. However, in a tragic turn, Juno accidentally impales Beth in the throat during a startled reaction to a noise behind her. Beth, seizing Juno's necklace, falls, pleading for help, but Juno retreats into the tunnels, leaving Beth to succumb to her injuries alone. In another eerie dream, Sarah envisions her daughter, except this time. Her child bears the visage of a monstrous entity. Awakening, she finds herself in a grim abyss, surrounded by the freshly slain carcasses of animals submerged in a sea of blood and innards. The lifeless form of Holly descends into this macabre pit, through the lens of Holly's night vision camera, Sarah witnesses a group of beast-like entities, their cries reminiscent of hyenas, and their clicks echoing like bats as they ferociously consume Holly. Struggling to contain her hatred, Sarah inadvertently alerts one of the monsters. It approaches, sniffing the air mere inches from her, yet fails to detect her still form. The sound of Juno calling from afar distracts the creatures, prompting them to abandon the feast in pursuit of new victims. With a makeshift torch, Sarah seeks an exit from the dark chasm. Elsewhere, Sam and Rebecca cling to each other, motionless, as a creature bellows nearby yet it fails to perceive them. The beast departs after hearing Juno's voice again, leaving them to continue their search for an escape. Around a bend, they face an ambush by another creature. As it attacks Rebecca, Sam is paralyzed with terror until Juno intervenes, impaling the creature's head with her pickaxe, thereby saving them and revealing the creature's blindness, relying solely on sound to hunt. Simultaneously, Sarah endeavors to flee, retracing her steps to their point of entry where she discovers Beth, gravely injured. Beth confides that Juno wounded and deserted her, offering Juno's necklace as proof of an affair with Paul, as evident from the love each day engraving. With a heavy heart, Sarah fulfills Beth's request for a merciful end. Shortly after, a diminutive creature lunges at Sarah, who counters by smashing it against the cave ceiling and onto the floor, resulting in its demise. Suddenly, a new being emerges, a female with flowing hair and pronounced feminine features, who seems to be the smaller creature's mother. As she lunges at Sarah, Sarah retaliates, sending her tumbling into another chasm, which, shockingly, is filled with a crimson liquid resembling blood. Struggling to escape the eerie blood-filled pond, Sarah is once again ambushed by the female being. Despite being overpowered, Sarah manages to grab a sharp bone fragment nearby and drives it through the attacker's face, ending her life. Shortly after, a male being appears, oblivious to Sarah hidden directly under him. With a swift move, Sarah eliminates him too, using the same bone fragment. Covered in gore and shaken, Sarah's screams echo through the cavern. Hearing her scream, Juno, Rebecca, and Sam become alarmed. Juno pledges to not leave without Sarah, but seeing numerous creatures in pursuit quickly changes her resolve. They dash through the tunnels with Sam leading the way to another abyss. 
attempting to set up a rope system despite the lack of resources, Sam's efforts are cut short as a creature attacks, fatally wounding her. However, Sam retaliates, causing her assailant to plunge into the waters below. Soon after, Rebecca is overtaken by the creatures, who brutally end her life. Trapped and desperate, Juno makes a leap of faith into a water body below. Juno finds herself underwater, facing another creature. Using Rebecca's knife, she successfully defends herself. Attempting to climb out, she slips, but is suddenly saved by Sarah. Now looking almost wild with her injuries and silence, Sarah confronts Juno about Beth's fate, confirming her distrust towards Juno. They continue their quest for an exit, only to be cornered by more of the creatures. In a fierce battle, they manage to kill two but are quickly disarmed by others. Sarah incapacitates her attacker with a brutal move while Juno uses a makeshift torch to dispatch hers. The aftermath leaves Sarah revealing a necklace belonging to Paul, rendering Juno speechless. A tense moment with their weapons is interrupted by the approach of more creatures, during which Sarah wounds Juno, abandoning her just as Juno had done to Beth. Escaping, Sarah's relief is short-lived as she hallucinates Juno beside her after a brief and horrifying drive. Shocked back to reality, Sarah finds herself still within the cavern's confines, realizing her moment of escape was merely wishful thinking. In her despair, she imagines a comforting scene with her daughter, allowing herself a momentary escape from the encroaching danger lurking in the darkness.